this is Mr. G and I'm in the ice age, which is why I have to wear what they wore back then, these warm animal furs and skins. An ice age happens when the earth gets colder for a long period of time, not a day or even a month, but for thousands of years. The last time this happened was 20,000 years ago. Since it was colder, a lot of the land was covered in ice and snow, so there were not a lot of plants. People would hunt animals for food and also use their skin and fur to make warm clothes. Some of the animals in the last ice age were huge, like the woolly mammoth, which looked like a big elephant with a lot of fur to keep warm, or the giant ground sloth, which was an herbivore, which means it ate leaves and plants. It especially loved avocados. But the saber-toothed tiger was a carnivore, which means meat eater. It was a wild cat bigger than a lion with long teeth that overlapped the edges of its mouth. We're going to practice some sounds that the letter C and the letter G can make different than the normal sounds that they make. So let's go ahead and do that in our word practice. A soft C is when the letter C makes a sound different than its normal hard K sound. Normally a C can sound like a K, but sometimes it sounds like the letter S. S and that's called a soft C. Let's see some examples. I, S. The E is silent. It's the magic E that makes the I say I because there's a letter in the middle between them. So this word is ice. And that's a word by itself. Frozen water is ice, but it's also a part of other words. So when you see this pattern, you'll notice say the word ice. Let's do some examples. Say the sounds when you see them. Er. Ice. Rice. Here's another example where the magic E makes the A say A because there's a letter in between them. Ace, and we don't hear the E. So this word is ace. That's a word by itself, but a lot of times we'll see it as parts of other words. Let's give them a try. Ace, ace, face. <laughs> er, ace. Race. There's also a soft G sound. Normally the G makes the G sound a lot of times, but sometimes it makes a different sound. It sounds like the letter J, J. Let's practice that J sound for the G. Age, that's how old something is. That's a word by itself, but it's also parts of other words like P, age, page, like a page in a book piece of paper. Sometimes there's a D in front of the G. And this changes because now there's two letters before the E. So it's no longer the magic E that changes the first sound. So this word is edge, edge. An edge of something is the border of it or the outside edge of it, the side of it. But it's also parts of other words. Let's try some. Ol, edge. Ledge. Ledge is an edge of something that's up in the air, like a cliff or a ledge of a building. W. Edge. Wedge. Now let's practice the high frequency words. These are words that you want to know as soon as you see them when you're reading. And we use them a lot, so you also want to know how to write them. If you know the word when you see it, say it. And if you don't know the word, say it after I do. So. From happy once any upon joke time. What is shaggy has a wand, huge wings, flies at night, and gives money to woolly mammoths. The tusk fairy, the tusks are those long, uh, like protrusions that come out the front of a woolly mammoth's mouth. What do mammoths and trees have in common? Big trunks, they both have big trunks. The trunk of a tree is the part that goes up the middle from the base of it. And the trunk of the mammoth or an elephant is the long nose that hangs down. It's time for the spelling words. As you hear each word, write it down on a piece of paper or a whiteboard. You can pause the video to give yourself time to write down the word before I say the next one. Then when you're done writing it down, unpause the video. Try to sound out the word and remember our pattern and our sounds this week. If you get the word correct,
Give yourself a fossil of a woolly mammoth tusk. Let's begin. The first word is rice. Nice. That rhymes with rice, so we can use it to help spell it. Page. Age. Wedge. Ledge. Those two rhyme. So you can use one to help you spell the other one. You just change one sound. Ledge. Like. This is one of our long I sounds from last time. Ride. Another long I sound. From. Be careful with this word because it has the uh sound, but it's actually made with an O. Once. That one can be tr pretty tricky to spell. It's like the number one, which would be O-N-E, but with a soft C in it. If you want to learn more about the big furry animals that were alive during the last ice age, watch this video by SciShow Kids.